Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sheen, your host, This Is Money Matters. In this channel, we talk about money, finance, how to make money work hard for you, how to grow your money, and how to invest your money. Uh, check out my other videos. I do a lot of videos about uh, just what I said, investing your money, growing your money, getting extra bonus money, uh, how to use credit cards, uh, bonus points, all that I talk about. Uh, so if you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. Uh, give a thumbs up, it really helps out the channel. And let's get started. All right, today we're talking about another beginner's video. This is three tips about starting investing in the stock market. All right, so here's tip number one, is have plenty of cash ready to invest. Uh, so I understand if you're just getting started, you might not have that much money. Uh, but for instance, if you had uh, $500 or maybe $300, uh, just take maybe $100 to $200 of that uh, and invest it in something. Uh, but don't put it all in at once, especially when the market is really hot. Uh, so when the market is really hot, everyone gets excited. They want to put their money in, pile their money in, and they see all the stocks going up. Uh, and they're kind of like scared that they're going to miss out. So they just throw all their money in uh, at these stocks that are overvalued, overpriced. Uh, they just see all the growth. They see everyone is making money and they just throw their money in. Uh, and what ha often happens is they throw their money in at the top. Uh, when the stock is at their highest high and then the stock drops and you're disappointed so tip number one is keep money available uh, because when the stocks do eventually drop and they always drop that is the time that you need to have that money that you put aside to put into the stocks when the stocks are actually dropping uh, when the prices are dropping that's the best time to put your money in uh, that way if it drops even further it will be a less of a fall than as if you Put your money in when it's all the way at the top so let's say you put your money into a stock uh it was at twenty dollars uh that's the high point so you thought this stock might go to twenty five dollars thirty dollars you put it in at twenty dollars at the highest point uh and then something happens and it crashes it goes down to 18 17 15. uh so basically now you've lost your money right but if you would have waited uh in cash and just waited for that time when that stock did drop and so let's say it's instead of twenty dollars you bought in at 15 drops from 15 to 16 uh to 13 to let's say 10. Uh, so you only lost five dollars in that case because you bought in at 15 and it dropped to 10. Uh, but if you bought in at 20 and obviously it dropped to 10 you would have lost 20 dollars right uh, and so that's kind of like trying to time the market uh, so there's no way to exactly time the market uh, nobody can time the market things happen all the time uh, if you're able to time the market you'll be a multi-billionaire right now it's not about timing the market per se it's just inevitable that the stocks are going to go down or they're going to go up uh, so just wait until the stocks do take a dip uh, so if you're watching something uh, and you see it going up, 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 uh, don't buy in when it's going up. Wait till it goes down. Eventually it will go down. Uh, something's always going to happen. Uh, it will go down. And when it goes down, you'll know what prices are good because, you, because you've been watching that stock. So if you know if it drops big or it drops a little, you have something to reference because you've been watching the stock go up. Uh, and so if it does drop, you kind of have a gauge of what a good price is to buy in at. And that ties into that extra cash that you have laying around. Uh, always have extra cash laying around for those dips, for the market to drop. Uh, that is when you need to deploy your money. Uh, you don't want to deploy all your money when the market is hot because when the market does go on sale, uh, like what's happening currently, uh, sale prices, everything is so much cheaper and you already deployed all your money and now you have no money to deploy and buy things that are so much cheaper. Uh, so always keep some money uh, on the side, invest when the market is low. Tip number two, uh, for a beginner, definitely I uh, should state the high quality stocks, uh, basically brand name stocks, uh, because I mean those companies are uh, more likely to survive a recession, uh, more likely to survive uh, any situation. Uh, they have usually have more cash available. Uh, they have brand names. Uh, if they do get into a pinch, they're more likely to be able to get loans from big banks uh, to hold them off in a bad situation. Uh, so if you buy you know, some uh, $200,000 company stock, you might go bankrupt and uh, you'll never hear from them again. Uh, but if you buy you know, big quality stocks, uh, brand names, like names that you see every day, those companies tend to be able to survive uh, any recession or downturn. So Apple, for instance, you know, uh, they have plenty of money in the bank. Uh, if there's a recession, you know they're not gonna go out of business. Uh, so they're able to weather a storm better. Uh, another company like you know, Google, uh, maybe Facebook, uh, all these big companies, they're gonna be able to weather a storm much better than uh, these no-name uh, companies that may be able to grow 10 times, 20 times, uh, but they also have a high likelihood of going out of business Okay, so the third tip, uh, number three, uh, I've fallen victim to this, pace your buys. Uh, so meaning you don't wanna put all your money in at one time. Uh, so for instance, like if you're watching that stock, uh, it was at $20 and all of a sudden it dropped to $15. You say, oh man, uh, this stock, I've been watching it for three months and it never dropped to $15. I'm gonna put all my money in at $15 because uh, I know it's on sale now. That's not really a good idea uh, because you never know what can happen. It could drop down to $10 uh, in two, two days later and could drop down to even uh, you know, $13, $14. You could keep on dropping uh, and you would have deployed all your money at the $15 price point. 
Uh, so if you deploy your money in steady paces, uh, so you put in some money uh, when it dropped at 15, uh, wait a few weeks, it keeps on dropping to 13, just by a little bit at 13, it keeps on dropping by a little bit at 12, by a little bit at 10, uh, just ride that wave down. So that's kind of called do dollar cost averaging, uh, but dollar cost averaging your way down. Uh, so you're never going to be able to buy the lowest point. Uh, otherwise, you'll just be a genius and you'll be a multi-billionaire. If you know a stock's price is going to be at $10 and that's their lowest point, then you would obviously just wait till it hits $10 and put all your money at $10. Uh, but nobody knows that. So uh, the, the only the best way to do it is just a dollar cost average your way down. Uh, so again, so like you just average your way down uh, by a little bit at each step it goes down. Uh, so let's just say, uh, you know, this stock was at $20. It dropped to 15. Uh, you bought a little bit more. It dropped again to 13. You bought a little bit more. Uh, but then you wanted to buy more, but it didn't drop anymore. Then it went back up to $20. Uh, yeah, so big deal. You missed out on buying extra shares, uh, but uh, you also are in the stock at a lower price and you could ride it until it goes all the way up again. And then you would have made money on that gain. Uh, so then, you know, the extra money that you had put aside, you just keep it to the side. Uh, you'll have another opportunity if this stock or another stock drops down again, just put it in, uh, dollar cost average it down. If the stock goes down, buy more. If the stock doesn't go down, then just save your money on the side. Uh, let that money ride up to the top. So that's called dollar cost averaging your way down. Uh, so that's tip number three. Uh, like I said, I've fallen victim to this. Uh, I had some money and I just threw it at a stock that I know went down, uh, but then it went down further and uh, I wasn't able to get a better cost basis because I didn't have any more money to deploy uh, to buy at the lower price so I could average my price down. Uh, so I've kind of stuck uh, at not the highest price, uh, but also not the lowest price. That's tip number three and that's my final tip. Uh, guys, if you like my video, please consider subscribing, give a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. I talk about money, finance, uh, how to make money work for you, how to invest your money and how to grow your money. Uh, if you're interested in any of my videos, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.